Yeah, I, I tell you, I, I think all the uh, we have a good feel about all the guys. Both those guys, you know, Henry's a uh, uh, young guy. that's a multi-sport athlete. Does an awful lot of things. He's got great ball skills. And, you hate the same like same as or just like you know that kind of thing, but I think he kind of fits in the mold of Brendan Mars and uh, uh, Alan Reisner. You know, good basketball player, good athlete, uh, good baseball player. Just does a lot of things well, and uh, you know we've had great success with a lot of guys like that. And the two I just alluded to, you know, certainly fit that bill. So really happy about that. And then Austin, uh, you know, it's like a lot of guys that we've had. Only I'd say he's a little further along. You know, and I, Reference our starting center right now. If you compare the two guys at their ages, uh, body structure and size, all that type of thing, you know, Austin's light years ahead. There, uh, he's an excellent student, just a tremendous young man, and uh, you know, a great competitor. So we're really, really thrilled about him too. Can you talk about your offensive lineman in this class? It seems, it seems like you didn't have a huge need there, but you got guys, high quality guys. It seems yeah, like. both Austin and Jordan are, are guys that we, uh, I think, are really excellent high school football players. You know, Jordan comes out of a tremendous program. We've tried to recruit uh, players out of that program unsuccessfully, and uh, we're just really excited to get Jordan, certainly. Um, Austin I talked about. And then Dan, Dan Hart was you know, semi-accidental, kind of like uh, the Marshall Yonda story, in that we don't necessarily uh, actively recruit junior college players, but uh, he came to our attention. Uh, we just really liked uh, what we saw of him on tape and uh, thought that he'd be a real good fit. So you know, we're really excited about him, too. Can you talk about Darrell Wilson and the job he did with this class. I mean, he, he did pretty well in Maryland and yeah. East, East Coast. And no, Texas. no question. And, uh, you know, our biggest challenge, I think, in recruiting uh, two things is perception. You know, this is, uh, some people try to portray this to be like Green Acres. And, uh, and then the second part would be distance. You know, it's, it's hard. You know, and uh, you know, we have to travel in recruiting. You know, it's just one of the challenges that we face. And, uh, you know, Darrell did an outstanding job. And a big thing in recruiting, I'll go back to my time here in the 80s. You know, we had great success. In fact, uh, you know, it's interesting. I got a great email from Andre uh, Tippett, whatever that would have been, Monday, I suppose. Uh, and that, that's, again, the, you know, the beauty of a program and, and the beauty of uh, the people that you're involved with. Uh, so that meant a lot to me. But uh, when, when uh, Bernie did such a great job recruiting players in the East during the 80s, it's all because players came from there, had good success here and felt comfortable here. And, and a lot of those guys are settled here, guys like Dan and Hughes in the Midwest, uh, Orm Granger, uh, goes up in Waterloo. So when players come from an area and have success and feel comfortable in the program, you know, they're always your best salespeople, or the people that are in your program right now. And I think that helped us certainly having Marcus here and having him experience success like he did was a good thing for us. So uh, you know, it's a, there's a cumulative effect, and hopefully we can continue to do well, and Daryl does an outstanding job. He's extremely thorough and uh, just covers every detail. And, you know, uh, I think it's very easy for prospects and parents to, to like Daryl and trust him and you know, believe in him. I think there. I think right now you have three linebackers, and I know there's probably one who's coming, but I'm not sure if he's a linebacker or not. But how do you see those three, are those that group sorting itself out? Yeah, we'll wait and see. You know, we'll get them on campus. And um, you know, last year was about as high a number of, of First year players as we've had you know, that have played. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think we'll probably continue on in that thing. You know, I think it's uh, continued to, to work well for us. So, you know, realistically, maybe one or two will play, and uh, the rest will redshirt. But you know, just feel good about those guys. I think we're really you know, building a good, good nucleus there. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, we, we've been hit, hit pretty hard the last two years in that position, and then you know, certainly our injuries last year you know, between that and the running back position, those were really affected our team and affected our special teams as well. If you could have done anything differently.